What's good, YouTube? We are here with MLB 16 to show the Detroit Tigers. We're going to put them in a fantasy draft, and we're going to have a little franchise mode going on for them. So um, this fantasy draft, I'm looking in for pitchers. This, this is the key plan. I had teams with Machado, Harper, and Trout on the same damn team, but never made the playoffs. So that is going to be, that is just rule number one. We got to go for pitchers. So the plan, in, the plan is here to get the first two rounds. We're going to get pitchers. And this was the first try getting into the fantasy draft. So I did not cheat to get that second pick. So I'm looking, I've had Trope before, I've had Harper before. Granted, Harper was a little less uh, lower rated when I got him, but um, say it still, like batting is not, batting is not as good as most people think it is. Good pitching will be good hitting any day. So we're browsing through the starting pitching. We're looking and we find the youngest out of all of them. And that's Jose Fernandez. So we're looking at his stats here. And we go up and get him. I would have got Kershaw, but he got he got picked number one. Because the computer knows. It's all about pitching. It's all about pitching. So now that we're so high in the draft, we got to wait for basically a whole entire round to get our second pick. And the second pick, I didn't even look at position players. If I did, I would have got tempted. But we, we end up going with... Um, the Stro Show these days, Marcus Stroman, and uh, we get a pick right after. So that's kind of the the live and die by the sword kind of thing about being one of the higher or lower picks in the draft. Um, so we get to pick right away after that. And then I was like, we have to go for um, a position player. And I actually had one in mind like a week before this game dropped. And it seemed that I found who I was looking for. Um, uh, yeah, so we go ahead and pick, um, Chris, uh, Bryant, whatever. So, yeah. So our fourth pick, um, I think that one, two punch of Stroman and, uh, Fernandez is good enough. So we can go get another position player and we stick with the youth as we get Puig on the team. Um, so our next pick, I'm going back to the pitching. I'm going back to work the rotation. So I get another young pitcher, another young player, Michael Waka. And um, right here, I think I'm also looking for another position player. So we go ahead and the leadoff man is actually a very, very valuable um, asset to any team. So I went ahead and get got Ben Revere, 27 years old. He's with that trend. And then we also got uh, Carlos Rondon, lefty this time. So we need a lefty in rotation. He's also young. Then Aiden Echeferia. Look at those fielding stats. You can't argue with that. So a sure-handed shortstop up the middle we got. Um, so I believe we're um, looking for a reliever here. And uh, who better than the Yankees, Dylan Batances, again, under the age of 30 so everybody's pretty young and uh, I look at the closing pitcher ranks and uh, it's not looking too good so I go ahead and pick um, I don't even know his name I forget his name sorry but I don't know anyway we go and um, look for uh, some first baseman and we see Brandon Belt uh, 27 years old left handed hitting but he can also hit lefties as well, so he's on the team. Uh, and then we and then we go check on um, the outfielders. So the guy that will complete the tandem of Puig and Revere, and uh, Byron Buxton catches our eye. The A plus prospect probably won't start the year in the MLB. Probably a year down the road, he'll probably make the club. That's why we get Aoki. So he can be there for about a year until Buxton is ready. And your boy kind of fucks up on the next pick. Because um, I thought this pit uh, pitcher had a B potential. Bruh. But he doesn't. And I end up picking him anyway when there was a bunch of pitchers that did. And uh, 
yeah I, I screwed up there i swear to god i saw i saw a b but fuck. okay anyway now we're looking at second baseman but there's two a potential prospects here with not bad uh overall rating uh low 70s so baez and this generated guy named give givens and uh it was a tough choice but i ended up going with uh baez because he just had that power and um you know he's kind of just this all-around guy and uh, givens didn't really have that power so next pick we were looking at catchers here and uh we go with this um generated guy also andrew Lari. uh he's got again he he can uh, drive it out of the park and with the little contact too contact is important it's not all about power but um remember this guy givens he's still there so we end up taking him so we get both a prospect so our prospect pool is looking great just with those guys alone um but now we're looking for a starting second baseman because both those guys cannot start the year in the mlb so we go go out and get omar infante um and now we're looking at relievers here and uh so this is kind of towards the end of the more interesting picks so um with that being said Here's the uh, rest of the draft in uh, super fast motion. Uh, enjoy. Hey. Okay. This is actually fire. Did you get all that? If you didn't, there is the full lineup of the team. So there it is. Um, so we got Ben Revere leading off, obviously. And this is after I tinkered with the lineups. Um, so the computer didn't generate all that because they usually get the lineup wrong. But anyway, Ben Revere leading off, lefty. And then uh, Puig, number two. Bryant is our third hitter, which, you know, I, I drafted him as that. So that should not be a surprise to anybody. Um, and then we got belts at number four, and then I forgot we were playing in the uh, AL. Um, I totally forgot about the DH, so we had to go out and get Ryan Howard. Um, but it's not too bad; he'll be good for a year. And DHs are like, you know, they're not too expensive to get. Like, obviously not a super good one, but like. A passable one is not that uh, expensive to get, and you don't have to give much to get it. So, um, yeah, so number six hole, we got um, Omar Infante, our second baseman. And then we got uh, our rookie catcher, uh, Mr. Andrew Laurie. And then Hechaferia is eighth. And last, number nine, Norie Aoki. But that lefty. Him against lefties, he will be huge for us. 99, that is ridiculous. And then we got two rookies on the bench. Um, they're going to look a little different when uh, in the next episode because I just like to edit generated players because some of them kind of look weird and they all have like no batting gloves and it's just a mess. So I'll fix them up and get them get them right. And uh, But we do have uh, Butler... And, uh, as our backup uh, outfielder so I guess the lefties this is what the lineup looks like uh, we got two lefties leading off that doesn't sound right but both of them Ben Revere and uh, Aoki are better against lefties than they are righties even though they're lefties so we're gonna look at the starting rotation now and we got Fernandez we got Stroman and I wanted to separate the two lefties, so we put Waka in between them. And so we got Carlos Rondon, and I can't believe he's a C. I swear I saw him as a B potential, but um, that, that's gonna that, that's gonna haunt my dreams because it looked like a B to me. But it's alright. Um, his, his stats aren't too bad. It's well rounded. He's not great at anything. He's not awful at anything either. So we got Drew Hutcherson as our long man, and uh, that's pretty good, um, 69, 70 overall. And then we ended up getting um, Casey Jansen, Manny Parra, 
um, Cedeno, uh, Thornburg, um, who else? Um, and obviously like the dancers at the bottom, and uh, I still don't know his name, um, whatever his name is, as our closer, because he's only gonna be there for a year. He's like 35, and like the reason I can't uh, pronounce his name is because I I'm looking at the uh, Vegas my uh, editing software screen and uh, I can't I can only see the little preview box and I can't see really uh, names that well so uh, he's gonna be nameless throughout, throughout this entire video but uh, it's coming to an end um, now I'm just looking at uh, the roster depth of uh, this team and just looking around so um, yeah that, 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 that's pretty much it um, so episode number two is gonna come right after this um, I'll probably upload it right after this and uh, and play our first game um, so that's gonna be interesting I think I built a great uh, a great team a great team I don't think I've built a better one just because the pitching alone um, our starter like usually for a fantasy draft would probably be around like an 84 to an 86 so my number two guy uh, that's Stroman um, so yeah now that I have an ace for sure it's great to see so I'll see you guys later and uh, make sure to look out for episode number two and we out